So let's go over a list of things that have happened as of late. Yay! I finally finished up this bottle of Jaeger. I bought this back in November. It's finally done and it's delicious. Yeah. Okay, not finished in one go. Honest, I'm sober right now. I'm currently finishing up a, a trying to finish up a Waldo puzzle. It's pretty much impossible. I'll share a link uh, image on what that looks like uh, when it's full. And I'm uh, pretty much the story behind this. I was given this as a gift from a friend of mine, and we've had this for like several years, and not once has it been solved. Several portions of the puzzle have been finished, but not the full thing. And I'm currently during downtime away from working on the computer. Uh, doing the puzzle. Yeah. Hand. I saw my girlfriend this weekend, and yeah, girlfriend, silly guy I am, and uh, yeah, good time. Had nice, good conversations when had a meal over at a mall, and the mall itself really wasn't a mall in that it was a, used to be a mall, and then just became completely abandoned, and now it's slowly getting filled with other stores and all that. Um, they had a uh, used store, similar to Goodwill and all that, set up in one of the sections that used to be a Menards. And you can tell it's Menards, because all the poles, uh, all the furnishings are taken out, but parts of the walls are still painted with that Menards paint on the wall. And otherwise, it's completely empty. I mean, the section they have for the store, for the uh, thrift store section, is it's fenced in by a chain link fence, while the rest of it, while the rest of the store is just open space. And you could walk around there for a bit, certain parts of it, mind you, except certain parts, except a, a certain number of it is um is chained off uh, by a single or orange cone saying, this is private property, don't go back there, we'll arrest you or whatever. So it's kind of ridiculous. And yeah, we were looking at this mall, and we are wondering, this would be a great place for a convention center, except place doesn't really seem keen on being a con having a convention and what the convention would be for. Granted, I'd like a convention, uh, you know, for video games, comics, anime, what have you, that'd be cool. Who doesn't like a convention? Who doesn't like to gather and talk about that kind of stuff? But that kind of, that area, I don't know. I have to look into that. But yeah, the rest of the date, uh, you know, visited the parents, had some dinner, went to a bar, saw an amazing band, amazing Kappa. They're also uh, influenced by a guy named Talon Noble Laps. Yeah, Talon Noble Laps. I think that's right. Let me reference my book. Always keep a notebook handy. It keeps your memory straight when you can't. When you can't. Yeah, Talon Noble Laps. A uh, cool kid. A child prodigy that plays the guitar. I helped him go to the bathroom. <laughs> I don't even know what the heck it was. It's just this kid in the bathroom way outside the door. It's like, I think someone's in there, you know? He thought it was just a one-bathroom kind of deal. You know, but there were two murals around. I was like, I checked it out, but I'm like, dude, coming in. Let's go pee. And thankfully, you know, the urinal was, hot, like, was short enough for him. I think it was, I'm surprised that I could even fit into it. But, you know, as it goes, I helped the child prodigy pee at a bar. Yay. And that's pretty much the weekend I had, and that's pretty much what's been going down as of late. That's all I got at this time. Mustache. Mustache. Mustache.